What's up YouTube? This is James coming back at you with another informative video. I hope you guys are doing well out there on this dreary and raining Wednesday. I'm doing real good myself, uh, other than feeling very drowsy and wishing I can get back into bed. I'm doing good. I come across this particular uh, sick uh, woman in this story. You understand? Uh, and she deserves nothing but the death penalty immediately. Okay? As far as I'm concerned for what she did to her three-year-old child and wow, why she did it. Okay? It says here, no shame, selfie-obsessed mom's sick TikTok video saying I messed up bad after killing daughter three as she interrupted sex. Yes, that's what I just said. She killed her daughter because she interrupted sex. I mean, her moment of ecstasy. I mean, for her to want to just jump up and kill her own three-year-old daughter for walking in on them or whatever happened, okay? How sick is that, man? This is proof that uh, <laughs> Demonics is very, very busy in this day and age, in this end game, you understand? Because it's situations like this affecting, you know, uh, mothers of all colors, you know what I'm saying, of all colors. But more, you know, likely, more than likely, you see white women doing this more than any other race of women but you see this i'd be surprised even when i see it you know where uh black women would do some shit like this you know what i'm saying and it, there's never a good reason for it and this is one of the worst reasons that i've ever heard okay let's get into this story uh this is the sick tiktok video a selfie obsessed mom made saying i messed up bad after killing her three-year-old daughter Nicola Priest, 23, was jailed for 15 years for manslaughter after little Kaylee Jade Priest was found dead with chest and abdominal injuries last August. Okay, so this is my first time hearing it. This happened a year ago, and it's just basically making media, you know. Uh, yeah, 15 years, she should have got an automatically death, you know, the, the death penalty, as far as I'm concerned. Now, I won't play this particular video because you know, copyright. It's only like 15 seconds or something like that. And it's like little slide pictures of the baby when she was alive and stuff like, you know, things like, and she talking about she messed up bad. You know, how sick is that, man? But, uh, this is the sick ass bitch right here, of course. And, uh, this is the baby, you know, that she did that to and what have you. Uh, you, you know, this just goes to show that children are not for everyone. Everybody shouldn't be trying to have, you know, children, man, because, you know, you don't have the right mental amplitude or the patience to deal with a child. Well, you know, you should you shouldn't have them. You know, everyone should always, you know, take consideration. Is that something that they want to do as far as I'm concerned? OK, uh, to continue here, it says the mom and lover Cullum Renfern killed her daughter after she interrupted them as they had sex, a court heard. Priest was also handed a concurrent sentence of three years for a child cruelty charge. In the, tick, in the sick TikTok video posted just over a month after killing little Kaylee J, the mom hangs her head in shame and seems to wipe tears from her eyes. The wicked killer then mouths the words to the song playing in the background. I'm sorry, mom and dad. I know I messed up bad. I should have. It says I should have done, should have done better. OK. Uh, the twisted tribute to her daughter shows priest priest stare emotionally into the distance, seemingly trying to appear apologetic for beating her firstborn child to death. Jailing priests at Birmingham Crown Court last week, the sentencing judge described how Kaylee's injuries had been inflicted in a ferocious assault. Hmm. Experts liken her wounds to those of a child hit by a car at 40 miles per hour or from failing, excuse me, from falling three floors onto a concrete floor. Did you guys hear that? 
I mean, that sex couldn't have been that that damn good for you to do some shit like that. You know, uh, wow. Mm -mm -mm. To continue here, Mr. Justice Foxton. QC said Kaylee was put to bed sometime around 7 p.m. while the two of you went to have sex in Nicola's priest's bedroom. But like many children her age, Kaylee did not want to go to bed, but to stay up and play. He said there was no direct evidence as to what happened next, but that Kaylee subsequently vomited repeatedly later, dying of her injuries overnight. The judge said the vomiting was the result of the severe beating you were both responsible for inflicting on her. No doubt no doubt irritated by Kaylee crying, asking to be let out. It interrupted the two of you when you wanted to have sex. You lost your tempers and were parties to the assault which Kaylee which caused Kaylee her life. A prompt call for medical assistance by one or the other of you would have saved Kaylee. Okay? Uh, speaking to the son, Refern's dad, Andrew Refern, uh, has since branded Priest as an evil mother, claiming she would neglect her child in times of need. Mr. Refern42 said, Nikki is an evil woman. She doesn't deserve kids. Okay, well, you know, <clears throat> you can't leave your son out of it because the story just said that your son was involved in beating this, this little child to death too. So what about that shit? Ain't that about nothing, you know? But I digress. Uh, she was stood outside this house smoking and Kaylee's napping needed changing. Okay, napping. Yeah, naffy. Uh, she said, you can't just stay in it. You can just stay in it. That's what she said. Okay, she said, you can just stay in it. That was her attitude. She won't come in the house to take her to the toilet. Haunting CCTV footage showed the mom from uh, Agabaston, Birmingham, with her daughters Kaylee Jade, just hours before the tot was found dead at their flat on August 9th last year. So this happened somewhere over in London or England or what have you. Uh, last week, a jury convicted priest of manslaughter after hearing she dialed 999. But Kaylee had been dead before the call was made. The tot described in court as a happy child died from serious chest and abdominal injuries. She also suffered hysterical injuries, including broken ribs, lower leg fractures, and a broken sternum. Birmingham Court heard, well, Birmingham Crown Court heard. Uh, Priest Carlum referent. Blame, yeah, priest and call them, reference, blame each other during their trial, but were at the time in a close sexual relationship. <laughs> Jurors heard how priest would hit Kaylee around the head and refer to her as a fucking brat, okay? Uh, while the little girl was also heard crying in a fearful tone. So she did abuse this child, man. You know, uh, the same residents claim that, well, they noticed that when Kaylee cried, the response appeared to be to drown, well, appeared to be drowned out by her crying with music. So see, th th she should have been at this kid took it from her. You know, this is, this is not how you do it with a child. And, and the thing is this, like I said, so many women is like this with their children. You see, a lot of women have children by a guy and a guy run off and leave him and they take that shit off, off on the kid that you get the, you know what I mean, from the guy. That's the way they do it, you know, and that's not cool either. You know, it's messed up all the way around. Now it says here she was jailed for, you know, manslaughter, but in a text message exchange on July 24, 2020, days before Kaylee's death, a uh, priest told referent, I'm going to kill her. I'm going to kill her because she keeps leaving the the living room or going in the kitchen 
So I've uh, pawed and hit her one and smacked her for shitting in her nappy. These people talk funny over there and it's, that's what it's in the nappy. So that must be the diaper. Okay. That's what that is. You know, um, Reverend said, good. Give her one for me. Priest replied, I will, baby. Uh, three days later, Reverend massage priest, well, message priest, excuse me, uh, message priest saying, I'm going to keep the little brat away from me. Sick of your spunky daughter. And CCTV played to court. Um, Kaylee Jade and her mom were seen just hours before the youngster's fatal collapse using a little well excuse me a lift at the block of the flats uh where they live the footage showed no physical contact between the pair with a uh, priest neglecting even to reach out to hold her daughter's hand priest was also found guilty of cruelty to, cruelty to a child relating to the youngster's historical injuries but redfern was cleared of that charge in a statement released through police after the verdict, Kaylee's grand Debbie Windmill, that's Kaylee's grandmother, Debbie Windmill, said the impact of her death would live with her for the rest of her life. She said, I could never stop staring at the smile on her beautiful face. Hmm, how sad, how sad. I'm wondering if you knew that your daughter was doing this to this baby though. That's the thing about it. You know, um, to continue here, it says here, I love every moment uh, watching her develop to nearly school age, preparing to buy my first grandchild. Her preschool uniform uh, was something that filled me with such happiness. Um, I couldn't wait to see her in it, but this opportunity was stole from me in the most brutal of ways. Uh, everybody deserves the gift of life, Kaylee J deserved to show the world who she could, well, who she could have been and what greatness she could have brought to the, this world. Nanny will forever hold you in her heart. Okay. It's too, but you had to know your daughter was off anyway. You know, uh, a lot of times when, you know, uh, mothers, you know, might know their kids off, uh, their daughter might be off and she have a kid or something like that. A lot of times they intervene and try to get them kids away from her. It's too bad that, you know, the nanny didn't do that. Well, the mother, grandmother didn't do that then. But I guess these are some of the, like, CCTV footage right here of her with the baby. You know, uh, and you can see her walk with a little cigarette in her mouth. Ain't, you know, concerned about what happened with the baby. She could have got stuck in the elevator or any damn thing. She kept walking, you know. And this is a child. A good little angel. Halo on her head. You know. Uh, how sad, man. This is just terrible. It's terrible. Priest reported looks at herself in the mirror during the clip. She was more concerned with herself. Now, this is this uh, Colin Redfern. As far as I'm concerned, he deserved a death penalty too. You was in on it. You helped this happen to this baby. You know? I mean, why couldn't he just say, you know, stop this woman from doing what she was doing to her child? He joined in. Think about it. How sick is this shit, man? I ain't bullshitting. Y'all worthy of death. You're worthy of nothing less than the death penalty as far as I'm concerned. Okay. This is a message to uh, all these would-be wannabe mothers. You know, a lot of you be young. You ain't ready for that. If you want, if you think you're ready for a baby, get one of these real acting ass baby dolls and stuff. They got a lot of baby dolls out here that act real. They cry. You understand when they need change. And I think they even got some that even like poop and <laughs> some little simulation of poop, pooping on themselves and all that get something like that you know what i mean if you want a baby you understand what i'm saying don't get a don't go get babies if you're not ready for them because uh it is very very uh demanding you know and you got to be responsible and you can't be fucking selfish like this sick bitch right here 
Y'all tell me what y'all think about this particular story right here. I'm interested in hearing your thoughts, views, and opinions on it. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. People, please remember to live your life as though we are being watched. Simply because we are. This is James, and I'm out. Peace.